I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in La Quinta, California for REITWISE 2013, NARIT's Law, Accounting and Finance Conference. I'm joined today by Ron Bollert, Director of the Global Corporate Client Group with NYSE Euronext. Ron, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Matt. What trends are you seeing in the equity market so far this year? Uh, so far this year, we're seeing a continuation of the rally that we saw throughout 2012 uh, with the Dow Jones Industrial industrial average, the S&P 500, as well as other indexes at or near all-time highs. Now, an interesting aspect of this rally has been the historically high levels of correlation across all asset classes, sectors, and stocks. Uh, some might argue that the rally that we're seeing is a little surprising, considering all of the headwinds that we've been facing over last year and again into this year with the uh, fiscal cliff talks into the end of 2012, sequester cuts making daily headlines. Uh, if you look overseas, you have the Italian government issues, uh, shrinking Eurozone GDP, and then more recently, the Cyprus banking issues, all of which could have derailed this rally, but none of which have. So then the question is, what is driving the rally? Uh, one of the bigger uh, reasons for the rally has been earnings. Q4 earnings have been incredibly strong. Um, if you use, the, again, the S&P 500 as a proxy, 74% of companies have beat expectations in Q4, and that's versus a 62% historical beat average. Uh, you also have the backstop of the federal government with their very accommodative monetary policy, encouraging banks to lend, and ultimately companies or individuals to borrow, hopefully incentivizing spending, and again, growth. Uh, and as far as the government's concerned, they've said that this policy will be in place for the quote unquote foreseeable future. Uh, last piece of this has been the job situation. We've seen steady if not modest growth in the jobs areas over the beginning of this year and the end of last year. While we're still not where we want to be, it's been considerable growth and we're still hanging it around a 7.7% uh, unemployment rate, which is again better than we were in the past. Great. Now let's talk a little bit more about jobs. How do you see the employment situation shaping up down the line and what steps is NYSE Euronext taking to address the issue? Well, most will agree that growth in employment numbers will strengthen the economic situation. And a great way to create jobs is through new business creation. So it's been our belief that a great way to create more jobs is by making the IPO process more attainable to smaller, newly formed companies. So with that in mind, we've been a strong advocate and worked very hard with our folks down in Washington on the JOBS Act, which was passed into law early last year. Most recently, Zayas Financial Corporation took advantage of the provisions within this legislation to become a public company on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, over the course of last year, there have been several other REITs, particularly, that have used pieces of this legislation and tonight we have two companies that are slated to go public for listing tomorrow, uh, those being Aviv REIT and Five Oaks Investment Corp. Now, what about growth potential for companies that aren't public? Well, in addition to IPOs, there's another very valuable resource out there in the form of small, newly created companies, also known as startups. So what the New York Stock Exchange did is we asked the question, how do companies access new technologies or bring these revolutionary ideas to market. Uh, oftentimes it is organic, they do it from within, but also very oftentimes they turn to startups to get these new disruptive ideas or uh, new products or technologies that they can implement within their own businesses. Uh, however, it's a very arduous task to try to sift through mountains of incoming solicitations from these startups to try to determine which ones will help their business and have the characteristics that they're looking for. So we've created a platform. It's a free platform called Corporate Connections. It's a secure online network where a company would log in and it serves to create the introductions between the company and the startup in, in a very non-committal, very easygoing type of format. And it helps alleviate some of the stress of having these uh, unsolicited startups coming in to talk to these companies. And what kind of challenges might be facing these new IPOs or startups? It's safe to say that IPOs, established companies, and startups alike are operating in an environment of, let's say, heightened regulatory scrutiny that we've never seen before. Uh, it's and it's important for these companies to have appropriate compliance and ethics platforms in place to help protect both the management, their boards, 
and the employees of these companies. Uh, oftentimes, companies are more concerned with running their business and don't have the time or the resources or sometimes the forethought to dedicate the people to the implementation, uh, the upkeep, or the creation of these programs. So with that in mind, the New York Stock Exchange has a set of corporate governance tools through Corpedia and corporate board member, both NYSE Euronex companies, to help address these issues. Uh, they provide governance, risk, and compliance solutions, and they recognize the weight of the liabilities that come with not having these programs in place. Ron, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Matt. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.